cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burdens of my heart rolled away, rolled away. It was there by faith I received my Oh!
feel like feeling good this yeah. morning. Yeah. But we feel pretty good this morning. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to ask the Lord just be a protector for us today. Yeah. Just let us know his will. Yes. Yeah. And if he's in the midst, we know that he can yeah. happen. Amen. Yeah. 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 Because we 
know you are our maker. Yes. And everything's going to be all right. All we do is just yes. trust in you, Father yes. God. Yes. Father God, we just ask, Father God, that you just come through Pleasant Road this morning, yes. Father God. Yes. Father God, just come through and just, just give us a nod and let us know that everything's going to be all right, Father God. Yes. Father God, we are one of the churches that lead and depend on you, Father God. Yes. Father God, we ask, Lord, that you just bless all of our members this morning, yes. Father God. Lord, touch them with a word, Father God, this morning, Father God. Lord, if any ear this word will rise up on the Father, we ask, Lord, that you remove it, Father God. Lord, remove this word to east, still from the west, Father God. Father God, we ask, Lord, that you just touch every spirit this morning, Father God. Lord, give us the will and the understanding and the wisdom and the knowledge, Father. That it comes from on high, Father God. Then, Father God, we ask, Lord, that you touch the one that you planted here, Father God. Father God, continue to give him the leadership and the will that he needs, Father God. Give him the understanding and the church and the need, Father God, to lead us to you, Father God. Lord, continue to give him that love of spirit, Father God. Father, give him a church from on high, Father. Then, Father God, we ask, Lord, that you bless his family this morning, Father God. Lord, build a fence around them this morning, Father God. That they'll be able to help them, help them do the will of God, Father God. Father God, touch our mother more this morning, Father God. Some are under the other illness, Father God. Yes. But they, they, they can be healed through you, Father God. Yes. Lord, we ask, Father God, that you just touch our feet and board, Father yes. God. Continue to give us the wisdom and knowledge that we need, Father God. Continue to give us the leadership we need to understand that we need to keep your church going, Father God. We just thank you, Father God, that we can still reach out and touch you, Father God. Even through bad times, we still got a, we still got a hotline now that we can call you, Father God. And you will answer, Father God. Touch every member, Father God. Touch all the kids, Father God. All the ones that sit schools, Father God. Father God, we ask Lord that you be a protector, Father God. Lord, protect them from all very harm and danger, Father God. Dear Father God, we ask, Lord, that you look into my family, Father God. Lord, fill a fist around my whole household, Father God. Lord, touch my children one by one, Father God. Look over my, my wife, Father God. Lord, protect her in all ways, Father God. Father God, we ask, Lord, that you be a protector over our household, Father God. Lord, we know everything's going to be all right. We just have to just wait, lean and depend on you, Father God. Then, Father God, we ask, Lord, that you touch, look on me, Father God. Lord, touch my heart, Father God. Make me a better husband. Make me a better father, Father God. Lord, make me a better servant of you, Father God. Give me that touch of love, Father God. Give me a double portion of love, Father God. That we will be able to look, Father God, unto all people, Lord. That we will be able to love everybody, Father God. Then, Father God, we get to the end of our journey, Father God. We ask, Lord, that you just, just see me over that river journey, Father God. That I'll be able to see you face to face. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.
to be here today. Yes. We all need all smile and praise. Mm -hmm. Everybody seems to be joyful. He don't want us to assemble one more time. Yes. Yes. Now you talk about a blessing. Yes. All we have heard the word is gone on. Yes. The word is yes. can't be here, but we're here. Yes. So since we are here, let's praise him like never before. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, maybe our last time we were wrong. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Praise him like never before. I don't know about you, but I, I feel good as hell. Yeah. 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 I know we got a Bible saying if James Brown, but like I know I should. Blessing is the symbol that she is smiling face and all. You know, I, you don't know how you miss people until you miss no longer see them. You know? yeah. 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 I really miss you, you know, miss you all, and I'm glad to be here today. So since we're here, let's do like it may be our last time. Amen. Amen. And then we don't know. Amen. Amen. We don't know. Praise him like it may be your last time. Amen. 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 Like, like if he was coming today and joining us tomorrow. Uh, uh, right. 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 Somebody will show up for you. You know what I mean? Amen. 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 song and prayer, we're going to have a glorious time Amen. in the Lord. Amen. Thank you. Amen. 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 Let us give our deacons a hand clap. Amen. We appreciate them. Um, we have come here to praise the Lord. Amen. We have come here to praise the Lord. Yeah. 
but to be able to be in the house of the Lord and see one another this morning, that is a blessing. We're celebrating 139 years. 139 years. I don't know what that means to some of you, but that means a whole lot to me because it just didn't come by by chance, but it was a lot of burdens, a lot of backbones that, and a lot of sacrifices that were shared to bring us here to 139 years. Amen. And I am grateful, and too many people would not say that, this, but I am grateful Amen. for 2020. I am grateful for 2020. Some people say without all the struggles in 2020 and everything bad that happened in 2020, but I'm grateful for 2020. I'm grateful because I want to tell you why I'm grateful. Just let me just take a minute and then we'll get to this scripture. But I'm going to tell you why I am grateful for 2020. It is because God's promises, the promises that he has always made, continue to be. They continue to stay. God has not left or forsaken that he was in Father God, we are just so grateful to you this morning for all that you are, Lord. 
Oh, Heavenly Father, you and you alone, Lord, our God. You are our source. You are our strength. You are our all, Heavenly Father. And for that, we just thank you this morning, Father God. Lord, I just ask you just to look upon your people now. Those that are with us now, Lord, and those that, that are not with us, Lord. Father God, those that are sick this morning, Heavenly Father, you know the circumstances, Lord. You know the needs, Father God. And Father God, I just ask you in the name of Jesus that you just make a way out of no way, Father God. What the doctor says one way, Lord, I know you can make it another way, Father God. What the doctor said no to, Lord, all it takes is one touch from you and a yes, Heavenly Father, and it will be changed, Lord. And Father God, according to your tender mercies, Lord, we're asking you to change it, Lord, and do what only you can, Father God. Lord, don't meet those that are in financial distresses right now, Heavenly Father. Lord, we know that you will provide, Lord. You are our provider. You are our source, Lord. You are our stronghold. You are our mighty God. You are our mercy, Father God. And everything that we need comes from you this morning, Heavenly Father. Lord, we just ask you, Father God, to work in the midst of our needs, Lord. Oh, Father God, that you just make a meal out of no meal, Father God. Or replenish, Lord, and restore like only you can, Heavenly Father. Oh, Lord, if we would just wait on you, Father God, for your work to be done, Lord. Oh, Father God, we just ask you just to touch our hearts, Lord. Touch our minds this morning, Lord, and touch our spirits, Lord. Oh, Father God, anything that's not right, Lord, I just ask you to fix it right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. That we would get it right with you, Lord. That we would be all that you would have us to be and do everything that you would have us to do. Oh, Father God, we just come to you, Father God. Just giving you all, Lord. Emptying everything before a great and loving Father, Heavenly Father. And saying, Lord, just fill us up, Father God. Oh, but not just with anything, Father God, but with your spirit this morning, Lord. Oh, Father God, we just want to be filled with you. Lord, to the fullest of you, Heavenly Father. Oh, by your spirits, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We love you, Father God, and we honor you this day, Lord. We honor you, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father, those things that were said and the things that weren't said, Lord, I just ask you just to search our hearts, Lord, yeah. and do what only you can, Father yeah. God. Be what only you can be, Father yeah. God. Oh, Father, we just give you the honor, yeah. you the glory, and you the praise this day, Heavenly Father. In the precious name of Jesus, amen, amen, amen. 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 amen.
1886, Reverend D. Kent Trail was elected to the pastorate of the church. He served for four years. In 1890, mm -hmm. Reverend C.C. Host was elected to the pastorate of the church. He served for three years. In 1893, Reverend H.W. Henderson was elected to the pastorate of the church. He served until the Lord called him from labor to reward. Amen. Reverend William A. Moreland was elected to the pastorate of the church after the death of Reverend Henderson. He served for four years. At the close of his tenure, Reverend Thomas was elected and served three years. Reverend J.R. Hicks was elected to the pastorate of the church. Under his leadership, the following officers were added. Brother H.B. Lemon, chairman. Brother Gordon Bass, mm -hmm. and Brother Bud Marshall. Amen. Reverend Hicks served until the Lord called him from labor to reward. Reverend E. Henley was elected to the pastorate of the church. He served two years. Mm -hmm. Then Reverend C. Tuggle mm -hmm. was elected as pastor. Under his leadership, the following officers were added. Brother A. L. Lindley, <coughs> Brother Sam Inslee, uh -huh. Brother Rob Bishop, mm -hmm. Brother Albert Marshman, mm -hmm. Brother Thomas Stiles, uh -huh. mm -hmm and church clerk, Sister Eugenia Lennon. Uh -huh. Reverend Tuggle served for 14 years. Yeah, right. Reverend J.M. Terrell was the next pastor of the church. Under the leadership of Reverend Terrell, a beautification program was initiated. A facelift was given to the church in uh -huh. yeah. <coughs> Brother Charlie Lemley was installed as deacon under the leadership of Reverend Terry. Mm -hmm. He served 12 years. All right. Next, Reverend Alf Russell was elected as the, past, as the pastor of the church. Under his leadership, the following officers were added. Brother J.A. Bridges, mm -hmm. Brother Earl Mosley, uh -huh. and Clerk Sister Celia Reed. Mm -hmm. In 1981, Reverend Sandy Allen was called to be the pastor of the church. Sister Barbara Lindley was added as clerk. Mm -hmm. During that time, in 81, the old structure was completely destroyed by fire. Amen. And the structure in which we currently worship <coughs> was erected. Amen. Pastor Allen served for two and a half years. After him, Reverend Ned uh, Howard served as interim pastor for the remaining uh, six months of Pastor Alvin's tenure. Now we're getting up to more modern times. Amen. Modern times. <laughs> <laughs> you can understand. You've got a lot of us here. So in 1984, mm -hmm. Reverend Leon Chisholm was elected as the pastor of the church. Many of you know him. Yes. Okay. So, under his leadership, Brother Albert Lindley became chairman. Brother Fred Allen, Brother James Lindley, Brother Johnny Lindley, mm -hmm. and Brother Alonzo Salad were all, were all added as office. Uh -huh. In 1990, the, the, the present church building was remodeled, and a fellowship hall was uh, was installed. Yeah. And it, it included a baptism, and also includes church offices. Uh -huh. In 1991, Parking lot was paid, amen? Amen. amen. And then in 1994, the church was incorporated. Uh, the official name changed to the Pleasant Grove Missionary Baptist Church of Douglas County. Amen. Pastor Chisholm served from 1984 to July 31st. Yeah, 1995. In 1995, Mr. and Mrs. Sam Quick gave the church a parcel of land on the corner of Fairburn and Old Road. Amen. Right Amen. Street on the corner. Amen. Amen. So in November of 1995, Reverend Michael E. Ware was called to pastor. Under his leadership, this church grew physically and spiritually. Amen. Amen. I can't show you after that. 
morning. Good morning. Good morning. You're alive. All right. For a blessing to understand this and tell just a few things uh, about over the 139 years. But as I tell you to do things 139, don't get it twisted. I want you to start. Almost. <laughs> I've been accused of that. He should be a deacon here. He well, said that if he wore them rocks, that I'd say, I know who's under there. Well, I, I did not. Well, but anyway, uh, I, did, I did have the privilege of uh, uh, associating with some of the people who were here when the church started. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, the clergy and uh, 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 one, of, uh, one of the chairs. I mean, all that was, I had a chance. They really get to be older. Don't make me old, because they really get to be old. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, they were telling me all about it, my grandfather, you know, was telling me about uh, how the church used to be, and uh, they started in the, the birth office, mm -hmm. and were telling me about uh, how they, my grandfather told me how he was coming, <clears throat> and the brother, and, and, and they were trying to leave news. There were some old trees out there. Mm -hmm. Some places time they knew so the tree, that's the way they come to church. Everybody didn't have a car back then. Mm -hmm. You know. They would do that and uh, my my, my uh, the lady would have the big bunnies on, you know, and everything. They would tell me about that. And we haven't been down too bad because just 17 minutes out of 131 years, that speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. We're, we're not too bad people, you know. Mm -hmm. okay. We have just 17 out of 139 years. They would tell me, and I, I, I'm fast forward here, uh, I can recall back from the early 50s uh, when we was here and when we had homecoming. <laughs> the church was turned this way, it looked somewhat of that building over there, it was larger. And uh, uh, you know how we, now we have a fellowship hall and all this, but they were lining the tables up down the side of the, side of the church. Yeah. And, uh, and, and this is the hall is now, you know, flies are bad. And, uh, and we have food, and the boys that had cars, and I take notice of this now, in the mid 50s, everybody didn't have a car, right? That's right. And the one that had cars, they would lift their trunks and serve them out of their trunks, you know? Mm -hmm. And that was some of the best food, I tell you. Yeah. Yes. And uh, <laughs> back then, they used to have uh, singing like we have now on the first uh, Sunday May. Uh, they called it the May Day Singing, and at that time, people. Uh, uh, back then, people had their stands out by their cars and certain ice cream and sodas and stuff like that. That was, I mean, that was something back then. Because you didn't get ice cream and soda every day back then, like you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, uh, and I said, well, that many cars, you know, people didn't have that many cars back then. Mm -hmm. Some walking was coming back then, you know. From, mm -hmm. you know I walked in here from my home a little bit. I was five miles, you know. And uh, also, uh, I can recall they were telling me from the beginning about uh, uh, Brother Mac from the Hawaii, you know, the type man he was, and all of that, and how they fellowship. Now, let me tell you something. I'm not going to take it along much, you know. Mm -hmm. I can go on and on with that, mm -hmm. you know, because I've known some of the people we used to be with, you know. But anyway, uh, uh, finances were the good back then. Men were making a dollar a day, you know, spending some a day. Mm -hmm. But I remember in the 50s when we were taking up 35 hours. Really? That was money because some of these make it $3 a day, $5 a day. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, also, uh, uh, Thank you. 
said I wanted the question to be, in my mind, it was rhetorical. But then I thought about us. And I thought about who we are. And I thought about how we go about life sometimes. And the question raised is truly powerful. Numbers chapter 11, verse 23. The Lord said to Moses, is the Lord's power limited? Mm -hmm. I want us, and I'll just stop right there so I give you a whole lot you can read for yourself. But I raise this question, and I want us to think about this. Is the Lord's power limited? Mm -hmm. Let us pray. God, we thank you for all you have done. God, we thank you for life, health, and strength. We thank you for another day's journey. God, we pray that you will continue to be with us and guide us. Let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, you're our strength and our redeemer. Amen. Amen. You all may be seated. Numbers 11. Now, 
indoor reading of scripture is, is it's imperative that you don't just read one scripture and try to exegete out what you want it to be. But you read before and after so that you can grab context of what is going on. And for the sake of where we are and how we are, Numbers chapter 11, you have the people of Israel are in their exilic time. That was pre-exilic when they were in Egypt. And now they are on their exile. They are in the wilderness. They have not yet reached the promised place. They are wandering in the wilderness. It says now, being that they are in the wilderness, they are, are in the desert. It says number 11, now when the people did what? Complain. Mm -hmm. They have been delivered from slavery. They are on their way to God, where God would have them to be. Yet along the journey, they complain. When the people complain in the hearing of the Lord about their misfortune, the Lord heard it, and his anger was kindled. Uh -huh. Then the fire of the Lord burned against them and consumed some outlying parts of the camp. But the people cried out as to Moses, and Moses prayed to the Lord. The people complained on their way to where God would have them to be. They were in an uncomfortable place. They were in a dangerous place. They didn't have housing. They were moving. They were very nomadic. They were moving and constantly moving. But they didn't realize God was protecting them along the way. Amen. Many times through this year of 2020 since March, we have complained. But we haven't realized God has been with us the entire time. Since you were born, as a matter of fact, God has been with you along the way and guided you along the way. And sometimes you didn't even know God was putting angels out in front of you and behind you and around you. And, and now we have the audacity to complain. Amen. And they complained about men of heaven. They complained about the men. They complained about the bread. Amen. And have you ever been around people that just complain all the time? Amen. Amen. Complaining about who's the president and who's not Amen. the president. Complaining about this year and how this year <laughs> has not been good. Oh, yes, it has been good. Because every day is the day of Thanksgiving. Amen. But there's some bad moments. Yes, there was some bad moments. Did, did we lose something along the way? Yes, we did some along the way. And we have to pray that when we go, we will all get back together again. Amen. But the complaining can be frustrating. Amen. Have you ever done something for someone that they didn't appreciate? Amen. Amen. And you went all out of your way to do something for somebody and, and, and they just complained about it saying it didn't fit. I, I don't like the color. I, I, I don't like what it is instead of saying thank you for what you have done. Amen. Every now and again, we ought to stop with the complaining and tell God, thank you for another day's journey. God, God, just thank you for all that you have done. God, thank you for being good to me when I was mean and low down. And I wouldn't even go by the house of prayer. I wouldn't even pray for myself. God, you were good to me then. Uncertain times. Complaint. Just as then, as they're on their exile, sometimes we can be the same way. They complain. Moses heard them. He talked about the bread and the cakes, but it only lasted a day. And it, it, it causes us to think about in the model of prayer when Jesus says, "Give us this day our daily bread." We sometimes like to operate in excess. Amen. 
One car is in the One house is in One pair of shoes are in One hat is in the We have to have so much. We have to have live in so much overflow and abundance. But don't you remember there was a parable once about a man who said, I need bigger barns and more barns. And, and then he said, the death came by. And he wasn't ready. Too busy acquiring things. Amen. Amen. And, and we have to be careful in our acquiring things. We begin to make idols out of things. Amen. We begin to worship stuff Amen. and not worship God. Amen. We, we forget and we, 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 we think about our past and what we didn't have and we don't thank God for, you know what, God, you brought us through all of that and we didn't have a whole lot of stuff and we don't need a whole lot of stuff to worship God. If you have a hand to raise, you ought to raise it every now and again. Just tell God, thank you for all that you have done, oh God. Now, Moses prayed for his people. But I want you to know that Moses got frustrated. Look at verse 10. Moses heard the people weeping throughout their families, all at the entrances of their tents. And remember, I told you they didn't have housing as we would think about it. They're in the desert. Animals, wild animals are around. Things are, are moving all around. People don't like them. And they're complaining about the bread. And Moses is now frustrated. Then the Lord became very angry, and Moses was displeased. And watch what Moses does. Verse 11. So Moses said to the Lord, Why have you treated your servant so badly? Why have I not found favor in your sight that you lay the burden of all this people on me? Man. Did I conceive all these people? Did I give birth to them that you should say to me, carry them in your bosom as a nurse carries a suckling child to the land that you promised on oath to their ancestors? Yeah. Where am I to get meat to give all these people? For they come weeping to me and say, give us meat to eat. I'm not able to carry all this by myself, for they are too heavy for me. Amen. And then Moses prayed that God just take me quickly. If I, if I found favor in your sight, let me die, because I can't do all this by myself. Amen. I stop by to tell you, Pleasant Grove, I can't do all this by myself. Amen. 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 We have to work together. Amen. Sure, everybody comes working, some pushing, some pulling, but we have to get on God's side and determine where, where God would have us to go. And I can't do it all by myself. Well, 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 well. And you know in your house, you can't do it all by yourself. Yeah. You have someone to help you out and to help you along the way. Along the way, because when you're by yourself, sometimes you get frustrated. Amen. Amen. You have a lot of people depending on you. They just want to complain and don't want to help. But I want to tell you, sometimes you have to stop playing around in the house and do what God has told you to do. Amen. 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 Moses was by himself and complaining and frustrated and mad and said, "I can't do it by myself." And I want you to know that you can't do it by yourself. Pray to God. Amen. Can't handle these burdens. But, but Psalms number 55 and 20 says, cast your care yes. unto the Lord. So sometimes we walk around carrying burdens we don't need to carry. Amen. We sing that song, I'm going to lay, I feel better since I laid my burdens down. Sometimes we have to lay burdens down and stop letting other folks bring their burdens to us to carry their burdens for them. No, we have to bear our own burden. Moses prayed to God. And don't you know, the question was raised now, is the Lord's power limited? God heard the cry of Moses and called in elders 
and say, I will impart some of the spirit that's in you Amen. onto them. And Moses, you will have help along the way. Amen. Think about that in 2020. You can't Amen. do it by yourself. Amen. Amen. But when you have help along Amen. the way, that's what the purpose of that spouse is, is a help me. Amen. A blessing, not a burden. Amen. Help, not a hindrance. Yeah. If you can't say anything, just be quiet. Sometimes. Amen. sometimes that's the best help of all. Just be quiet. Amen. Sometimes the best help is to be an encourager or a cheerleader. But don't be uh, one who tries to derail or a complainer. Mm -hmm. And then they were so in there complaining. Moses is feeling some kind of way. They said, why did you take us out of Egypt? Why did you take us from where we were comfortable? Yeah. And some people are comfortable being boxed in and enslaved. Amen. Some people are comfortable operating in dysfunction. Yeah. Some people are comfortable with everything chaotic around them. Yeah. But whenever you get a hold to some peace, you don't want anybody to disrupt your peace. Yeah. Wherever you have peace in your life, peace at your house, peace, wherever you go, you don't want anything to disrupt your peace. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And God said, you know what I'll do? I'll give them meat. I'll give them so much since they want to complain about it. I'm going to bless them and I'm going to give them so much that it's going to come out of their nostrils. I'm going to give them so much that they will be tired of that too. Sometimes we complain and we want something and when God gives it to us, we don't want it anymore. Can't we be unique in who we are? We said we wanted some time off. God gave us a whole lot of months off. I want a weekend to clean up around the house. Go back in the house and still look like you can come It's still look the same. That move made a move. You have not redecorated. You have not painted. You just wanted to complain. Some people get started and say, oh, this is too much. I, I, I just wait a while. You wanted this and you wanted that. And God has given it to you only. There's no limit 
No limit. To what God can do. Amen. 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 I heard somebody say, my weeping was all night long. Amen. But my joy came. Yes. Early in the morning. Yes. Revelation said he will wipe all tears. Amen. Are there any limitations? Amen. God will do exceedingly and abundantly. If we would just be obedient yeah. and stop being so rebellious, Amen. stop complaining, yeah. stop looking at the worst things yeah. of life, yeah. and here you are with an opportunity to praise God, count your blessing, yeah. tell somebody my good day, yeah. I pray my bad day, remind somebody how good God has been to you, remind somebody how God has made a way for you, and you know when you start talking about it and thinking about it, your hands get a little your, your feet get right. Your weight gets right. And you'll be able to tell somebody you can make it. Yeah. Someone in here who has gone through cancer can tell somebody you can make it. Yeah. Somebody who's gone through diabetes yeah. can tell somebody you yeah. can make it. Yeah. Somebody will tell somebody, I, I've been through I've been through storms, I've been through heartache, my mind has been troubling me. But I'll tell you, God is a mind regulator. I used to hear the older saint say it, and now I realize God will give you peace. Yes. 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 Don't put any limitations Amen. there. Amen. But know that God will keep Know that God will. Are there any limitations there? No. Yeah. To what God can do. Amen. Amen. God's been good to me. Yeah. 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 To those people in Israel who thought that there were limitations. Uh -huh. There are no limitations. Amen. To the people here, Pleasant Grove and abroad, yeah. and say we can't adjust. Don't you know we've been adjusting our whole existence? We would say, God, I want things to go back. Go back to what? Exactly. God is a forward yeah. You say, I wanted to go back how I used to be. No, move me from where I used to be. To where I used to be. We worship God in spirit and in truth. Not the old. God is moving us forward. And some of us are so resistant that we want what they used to be. Instead of saying, God, where are we taking this? Amen. And where you lead, I'll come. Amen. Because it won't go back. There's a fire. Yes, and for someone who's here today, who said, I've lived in some dark days, and I pray for that fire. The door is now open for you to give your life to Christ. As we stand collectively, come as you are. We are a warm and She can find in God the rest of the
Matthew chapter 27. We'll be going 14 because God told Moses, why are you standing here? I told you to go forward. Let's grow over, brothers and sisters who are here. We have to go forward. We have to go forward not complaining. Because there is no need to the problem. Thank you 
for Brother Dan having the courage to walk down the aisle and to be a part of our fellowship and our family. We thank God for receiving him as a brother, as a friend, as a fellow believer. We pray that you would strengthen him Give him courage to run on a little while longer. Give him wisdom and insight to know what traps lie ahead, lie ahead so he can move around. Give him wisdom and understanding. If he has lost his way, oh God, we pray that you would show him the right way back. And just as the prodigal son was welcomed back home, he reminded him he's always welcome back home. God, we pray for his mind, that his mind would be at peace, that his heart would be at rest, that he will go forward saying, I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. And now that he's put his hands to the plow. Don't let him turn back around, but keep going forward. God, we thank you. Please be with Brother Damien and strengthen him, strengthen him along the way. And give us a mind as a church family to always encourage him to, and to keep him encouraged because trouble is always around the corner. Trouble is always in the way, but Jesus can fix it. God, we pray that he will yield to the Spirit and always follow you. We thank you for his commitment. We thank you for his courage. Be with him and guide him. Strengthen his house and his family. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And all of us together, say amen. amen. God bless you, Brother Daniel. God keep you. Go sit there. You come. You can sit there. There you go. Amen. We have announcements. Eventually, we may have to start 
maybe an appointment to come because we may be too many. Yeah. But if you feel comfortable to come and worship, we need the presence. We need the air running. We need the door open to try to be. Today was good. And usually we're here 30 minutes to an hour and then we're outside and we can hear. If you feel comfortable to come and worship and sit in distant places, please come out. It's hard preaching in the pews of me. <laughs> but we had to adjust to it. And there is someone here with us today. And I want you all to just give her a hand clap of appreciation. I'll tell something out of the history. Uh, we only had four channels in 139 years. And you all can change that any time you want to. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> We're staying far beyond time, but you have, you have blessed my heart. Brother, we're praying with you. 
And notice I didn't say for you because you want to pray for yourself and we're going to pray with you. Amen. We're going to pray with you because men are to always pray. We have hand sanitizing. Please, please be sure to put your mask on. I'll be sure to put mine on. Let us all stand to enjoy one another even a little more. What a fellowship.